Hello everyone, uh, welcome to this Cypress tutorial. In this tutorial, we will learn to download a file using Cypress and we will also be using ChatGPT. So, let's begin. Downloading a file is pretty much very easy in Cypress because there is a community plugin available for this one. So, for that one, uh, let's go to the browser here and search for Cypress plugins. Let's go to this official uh, documentation, click on this one. And here you will find both official and community plugins. Press uh, Ctrl F and search for download. And you will find this Cypress dash download file community plugin. Click on this one and it will take to you to this particular GitHub page for this plugin. Now scroll down a bit here. And here um, you have got all the instructions to use this plugin. The first thing is that how we can install this plugin then we need to add this line in our support slash command dot js file if we are using cypress 10 and above we would be using this file into config.js and for all cypress versions below 10 we also need to add cypress slash plugin slash index.js with this particular set of code and once we are done with this if we need auto completion and if auto completion is not working in this case we will be adding this reference line from here and then we have a very basic uh, syntax here cy.download file we need to provide the path of the file then we need to provide a folder where it will download the file and by which name it will save the file okay and if we are using version 1.1.5 then we also need to pass our user agent okay so this is how you can pass the user agent here so this is the basic guidelines now uh, let's go here and let's go to our visual studio code here and i am using this npm install command here to install uh, this plugin so once it will be installed uh, you need to go to uh, this uh, package.json file and here you will uh, find this plugin as well so this is a dependency so cypress dash download file version this one okay now we need to do a second step which is basically we need to add this line in our support dot support slash commands dot js let me copy this one from here let's go back to the visual studio code here so support command dot js so i've already added this one here you can see and uh, then what else we need to do we need to go to our plugin section and we need to add this code in our index.js copy this one from here go to this section go to plugins then index.js and here we need to provide this code just like i have provided here now once uh, we are done with this let's create our test here so simply i'm creating a new file and calling it as down ring file dot js and let me uh, copy some basic line of code from my previous examples so let me go here and right this was file uploads our script and tutorial so let me copy uh, this one from here and let me copy and paste it here so first thing we need to visit the website or we need to go to particular website right and or but in this case the url is already provided so we don't need this kind of a code here and this is file download tutorial learn cypress file download and here what i need to do is that let me go to the plugin section and here they have given us this example right so let me copy uh, this path and see either this file exists or not and let me go here and paste it in a browser and yes this file exists and this is a wikipedia file here okay so let me copy 
this complete from here and uh, now what i need to do is that i need to go to my visual studio code and paste it here simply right and uh, let me save this one and now let me open the cypress stress runner and px cypress open and once it will be open we will try to execute this code and see what happens so our Cypress Trust Runner is up and running and we need to execute this our test which was download file. Let me click on this one and let's see what happens here and it's done already and how we can verify this one. So let's verify this manually. So we need to go to our Visual Studio code here and we need to find a folder by the name of my downloads and here it is and we are naming the file as example.jpg so let me go here and you see this file here right so now if i want to assert this file so how i can do this that's really simple cy dot read file and what i need to do is that I need to read this downloaded file from here so we need to give a complete path here to simply the path is dot slash my downloads slash example dot jpg and simply we put a session over here using should and this is a very basic assertion should exist right so this is what we are trying to do using this assertion so save this file and see what happens so our test got executed successfully here and it actually read the file and because this is an image that's why we are getting some encoded code but it read the file from our my downloads like example.com and it got read as well now um this uh, looks something very weird here because it's encoding of the image let's try this example with some textual file and for this one uh, i would be using this example here so let me copy this one and let's go to the browser and here what i need to do let's paste this one and see so this is a text file sample text file and there's some dummy text in it so let's try to download this file and assert that this text file contains some kind of a data here okay so let me go to visual studio code here and let me copy this line of code and i'll do is that simply i will go here and paste it here I will name this file here as a sample text dot txt and again it will go to my downloads and now what I need to do is that I will provide the URL of this file so actually let me copy the URL properly from here so this is a URL let me copy this one from here and back and here let's provide this url with the extension so we are done with this thing and before we execute this one let me comment this one and let me use this uh, c y dot red file and again uh, the file will be inside uh, you know my downloads right so my downloads slash so the file name uh, here which we are providing is basically this is a file name right so let me copy this one from here and paste it here so once this file will be downloaded we are reading this file and now using should and what i will be using here so simply what i say that contain so what this file contain so let me copy some uh, basic line of uh, code from this file so let me copy this text and 
this one basic here and now uh, let's go back here and we need to provide this one here so there is some problem because it copied a lot of data which we don't need so let me copy again here and just copy this part right just copy this part text and now uh, let's provide this one here so uh, we are done with this one and now let's save this one and see what happens so uh, our test code executed successfully and file was downloaded in my downloads section with this sample text.txt name and it contains this one right because it says include this so that's why our accession got passed here and if i go back here and go to my download section so here you see that sample text.txt is downloaded and it also contains the same text now um let's go to the browser and let's ask about uh this download file from the chat gpt so let me go to the browser here and uh, simply uh this is our separate automation chat so let me ask from the chat gpt how to download a file using cypress and let's see what it says so you can use a cypress file download plugin to download file that's correct that's what we did we installed the cypress file download plugin then uh, it's uh, telling us about the additional things we need to do in support index.js this is what we need to do and it's also you know providing a code that's great this is how you can also do this and then inside the test see by dot download file then again the name of file and uh, we also need to provide the folder because uh, this is something really important so this is something missing from here but rest it looks really good to me and uh, that's how you can download a file using cypress Thank you so much for watching this tutorial if you like our content then do like comment share and subscribe our channel once again thank you so much and see you in the next tutorial